What's up people, welcome to your 19th 3D Studio Max tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys what a camera is, how to use it, and you know what, just watch it, quit asking questions. So let's go ahead and create one first. So let's go ahead and in our create panel right here, go ahead and click this little button that says cameras. So go ahead and click that and the first thing that we need to do is pick what type of camera we're going to make. Actually, before this, what we need to do is probably should uh, click some stuff to look at. So how about this nice little box right here? And how about a pyramid? We didn't create a pyramid yet. So bam, look at that. We have a box and a pyramid. Something in the scene, you know. We gotta look at something. Just don't want to be roaming all around space. So now we can go ahead and create a camera. And now we have two options to choose. Target or free. Here's your quick guide to choosing cameras. Anytime you want to work with an animation, which we didn't even go over yet, use free. Anytime you want to work with objects that aren't moving around or being animated, click target. So we don't know anything about animations yet, so we're going to click target right here. And now, once we do that, we create a camera. So in order to create a camera, what you need to do is, once you have these little crosshairs after you pick target, just click anywhere in the top viewport and drag the camera. Clicking it's going to create a camera and dragging it's um, going to give you it's called the target point or the, or the target or it's pretty much the direction where it's looking. So now you can see we created a camera that's looking at our objects right here. So what we want to do is probably change this from wireframe to smooth and highlights just because it looks better. And aside from that what else we can do is change using our um, basic tools up here select object select and move select and rotate we can move around the camera with these tools but right now I want to change this little target point right here so I'm gonna click select and move and you know what click this out of the way click my target point and now look at that I can move my target point around just like that bam look at that how awesome is that so now what's the point of creating a camera and that's to get our own different view that we want so how do we see that view well in order to see what the camera is seeing what you need to do is click on a viewport doesn't matter what one I'm gonna click on this one and press C and what C means is the camera's view and another thing that you can do is these are the views right here the plus the front and the wireframe the middle is the view so anytime you click that you can go to cameras and all your cameras are going to be listed right there so select the one you want but right now we're in camera view right now so this viewport right here is what the camera sees so now once you click C in your one of your viewports you get all of these different options in the bottom right and that's um, the camera tools and I'm going to be going over how to move the camera how to move the camera using the camera tools the first one if you click on dolly camera is the dolly and what this does is move it um, towards and away from its target point so it's probably oh, I'll show you it in this this um, view right here and if you look in this top view right here you can see that it's getting closer and farther away from its target points so if you um, like are animating later on and you want to stroll into something like that slowly that's how you do it but for now let's move on um, the next probably common one you're gonna need is a roll camera and what this does is it rolls it along its Z axis or pretty much the way that's unnatural for the common for a uh, camera to move but this can give you some pretty cool artistic effects so just remember that so aside from that I guess the field of view will probably be the most common um, if this if you click that pretty much just gives you a better view of objects and cameras in one scene and that's called zoom extends all but anyways back to field of view what field of view does is it looks like if you're just looking at it in this view that it does the exact same thing as the dolly just move in and out from your subject but what it does in reality is it's pretty much just zooming in and out the camera isn't moving itself so while I'm doing this if you look in this top viewport right here nothing's moving and that's because when you change your field of view the camera doesn't move it's just the view like you're pressing zoom in and out on your camera so now aside from that we can go through these 
This is called uh, the truck, I think. Let me make sure. Tr yep, the hand is the truck. And what this does is you can see it moves the camera and target point all in one. So that's pretty much what truck does. I don't know why they called it truck. Um, I can't even think of anything creative for it. But, you know, they call it the truck. It moves the camera and viewpoint all in one. What this button does, though, the walkthrough, is it only moves the target. So anytime you have these two little feet, they're called the walkthrough, and that keeps your camera in the same place and moves the target or where it's looking at. And the last thing that I want to go around is this orbit camera right here. Whenever you click this, the target does not move, but only the camera move. So while the walkthrough changes the target point, the orbit changes the camera but keeps the target point. So that's where this is pretty cool and one of the most useful ones. You can put your target right in the middle of a scene and you can pan around it and you won't have to worry about your target moving or anything like that. So that's uh, pretty much your basics to creating a camera. Again, um, anytime you want to create a camera, just go to create, press camera, and then go to ahead and press target for now. And then anytime you want to edit the camera, just go ahead and select your camera and go to modify and here are all the settings right here but for now they're just a uh, default and we can leave them at that because it's doing a wonderful job as default so for now that's it that's all you get i sorry i'm sorry but thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe in the next tutorial maybe i'm going to be talking about cameras some more maybe i'm not i guess you're going to have to wait and find out so thank you don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time